everyone, it's Jenny from Homestead Corner, and today we're going to try out some of this My Patriot Supply chicken and creamy rice. So today we're going to try out some of the My Patriot Supply uh, creamy chicken flavored rice and see how it is. With our kitchen still down, this stuff is perfect. I can cook it on the wood stove and it's not going to take very long at all. So I have got a five quart um, Dutch oven here that I just put on the wood stove and we are going to cook right here in the living room. So it works. And this creamy chicken and rice says it has seven grams of protein per serving. Um, it's pretty high in salt, about 670 milligrams of sodium, but this package is going to serve four people. So let's get started. We're going to start with the instructions say we need five cups of water and bring it to a boil. So we are just going to add our water right in here and get this cooking. Mm. Having a wood stove is so, so handy. Okay, so once we have this up to a ro nice rolling boil, I am going to stir this right in. I'm going to put everything right in there. The package says just remove the oxygen absorber and get her in there. Oh see the oxygen absorber so we're gonna go slow just gonna pour that right in see if we can get that baby to show up without cooking it we don't want to cook that where is that oxygen absorber my goodness it's hiding I like that these are resealable pouches. Oh, I see it. It's down there. That way you can cook just enough for two people if you need to. That is always nice. So we're just going to pour that all right in there. And I found the oxygen absorber. It says don't eat. I'm pretty sure I don't want to eat that part. So we're just going to give this a nice stir. Is to whisk it, but I don't have a whisk handy. Oh, definitely the hot, hot. All right, so then the package says to move it or turn it down to a lower heat. So what I'm going to do when I cook on the wood stove, if I want the temperature really hot to get it boiling, I set it as close to the center as I can. And I will just knock this fire down a little bit and move this off to the side for a medium heat is how I do it. And it works out quite nicely. So we're just going to put the lid back on there and move it over. Put that right up there. Handle. I'm just going to move this off to the side because it is definitely hotter right in the center where the fire is than it is on the side. So we're going to leave that right there. I'm going to knock this fire down a little bit. Push my damper in. Okay, so this has been going for oh, seven or eight minutes. And we are just going to give it another stir here just to make sure... The fire is down a little bit now, so that is good, but it is still bubbling away. We're going to keep an eye on this because wood stoves, once they get going, they will cook it quick. So we're just going to keep an eye on this, and I'll bring you back. All right, so this looks like it is done. The rice is all swelled. It feels soft. So I'm going to pull this off the wood stove and we're going to let it sit for
for about, it says two to three minutes, but we'll let this sit probably five minutes because this is just boiling hot in here. So we're just going to pull this off the stove just for a couple minutes and I will bring you back. We'll try it out. All right, so we've got our creamy chicken and rice. I don't see any chicken in here. And I was looking on the back of the package while it was cooking, and I didn't see any chicken in it whatsoever. There's chicken fat. Um, there was soy and corn protein, which I believe is where the protein's coming from. There's some chicken stock in it, things like that, but no actual chicken in it. So the protein is coming probably a little bit from the um, chicken stock, and but mostly from corn and soy. And uh, But this looks really good. It smells good. We're going to give it a taste. Mm. It actually doesn't taste that salty. I thought it was going to be a lot more saltier because I'm not a salt fan and I don't use tons of it. But this doesn't, it's not super salty when you eat it. It does have a good chicken flavor. It's not bad. It's very creamy. So, I definitely, this would be perfect in a, in a dire emergency. I'd be very happy with this. This is not bad at all. Mm. I got some on my chin. I cook like an animal and I eat like an animal. <laughs> and that's it for today. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.